I know it's dark on us right now, but the view's more important. We are trying something different here on Oahu. I know you can stay in Waikiki or stay in a high rise or a big resort. But sometimes you're looking for something a little different. Looking for an adventure, which is exactly what we're gonna show you. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide, and we're gonna show you Windward Oahu van style. Excited for sleeping here? Hello, hey Justin. So Justin invited us to take his van out. So we're gonna check this, uh, yeah, hit up the windward side of Oahu. Absolutely. The ceiling's beautiful. The floors are beautiful too. Isn't it awesome? you, yeah. How tall are you though? Six two. Ooh, it might be right there. <laughs> might, you, you may yeah, have yeah, a little crink gonna, in the mix. You might wanna watch it for the AC. All right, let us show you around this van. It's pretty spectacular. We're not van life people. I don't know if you've watched our channel, but we do Hawaii vacation videos. What better thing to do is to get a van and camp around Oahu, right? That's a nice little Hawaii vacation. Legally, of course. <laughs> That's the thing. So I'll show you some places you can camp, especially on the North Shore. It is something different. If you're looking to get out of the busy crowdedness of Honolulu and Waikiki, then it's fun to just have those island vibes, get a van and go camp on the North Shore. Here we're in Kane Ohe. We got the poly cliffs up above us. Anyways, let me show you this van. This is a 2019 Mercedes Sprinter van. I'll just point out some cool features of it. Like I said, really nice setup in the front. This is a huge benefit for us is they have a fold down seat. Justin, the owner, he traveled with this with his kids. So it's a fold down custom designed seat and we were able to fit two car seats in there, which is really great for us. With anchors. With anchors yeah. for them. We got the kids back there on a queen size bed, would you say? Nice. Yeah, and now it's a play set right now for Henry. This is Henry's play set. It has a sink with about 20 gallon pump in here. It has a very large refrigerator or a freezer. It depends how you set it. It makes it nice. Lots of open area. A lot of people don't like to cook when they come to Hawaii, but it's nice to get groceries. You can fill it up. They do keep it fully stocked with and, kitchen stuff. And we took on, we're not cooking up outside. We're making s'mores tonight. That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> it's got lots of storage up top and all the areas. Justin said the last people to use this were two Australian surfers. They spent 10 days here exploring the island, obviously doing lots of surfing on it. But what I like about it is all the big windows, right? It's massive. You've got a nice wood trim in here, but the windows are huge. A lot of light coming in, but he does have blackout curtains, which is really nice if you want to cover that up. I like the windows. I like the light coming in. And it's nice for the breeze to come through. And there is air conditioning also. He has a battery that can run all this stuff. And there is a toilet. It's good for number one. He didn't really recommend number two. There is a bathroom at this campsite, so we're all set. Okay, reverse. Holy oh, cow. Okay. Wow, this stuff. Yeah, we're off. So while we're on a smaller country road, this is a very smooth vehicle to drive. It's big, don't get me wrong, but it's it drives like a car, just like a lot more weight, right? But you sit way up high, you get these like nice panoramic views, and Justin's got a fancy one. This one has those rear view cameras and 360 degree cameras with all the sounds and warnings so you don't hit anything. So it makes for a really comfortable driving experience. So yeah, if you've never driven a van before, give it a try. We're doing the Malama Experience Tour. We're gonna to get dirty in the tarot patch. Welcome to Jurassic Valley. They got lots of fun stuff to do here. So behind me is a check-in line. We're here early in the morning and there are so many tours to do here. There's zip lining, ATV rides, horseback riding, movie set tours. We're doing the Malama Experience. So we are going out into the tarot patch or to repair thatch roofs. You know, figure out how the wines did it, learn a little culture, a little history, get our hands dirty. It's gonna be fun. And plus, check our website, link below. They have so many tours here, you're gonna find something for the whole family. What's nice about this tour is that it's kind of ad lib. We're adding in an extra little spot right here. We're feeding Dakota, who's this giant longhorn bull. I'll just show them to you anyways. Hi, Dakota. Hi, handsome boy. <laughs> yeah! 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 Yeah!
so the flour. Oh, that's great. That is great. It's delicious. Yeah, isn't that good? That is great. And it's not even the flour that they harvest mm. that for. It's mm. the mm. rind zone. It's the roots under the ground that they actually harvest for and use. So we just got to the lohi, which is a taro patch. Also, they call it taro kalo in Hawaiian. So we just got to Auntie Evie's little private patch. We're going to uh, see what she has in store for us here. You don't have a baby on your chest, you want to get your hands dirty, get your feet in some rich Hawaiian mud, then this is the tour for you. This is a great way to get out, learn about the land, learn about the Hawaiian culture, and just get engrossed in Hawaii. All right? That's why you come here. That's why we love to find tours like this one. One thing I learned on this trip was that it takes six months to grow taro, to harvest taro. One thing I learned is they have a varietal here right now that is currently planted and growing and the leaves turn up and that used to be special for royalty mm -hmm. to eat. Cool. And they don't commercially grow it anymore because it takes nine months to harp, like from planting to harvest. So it takes a little bit longer. And so it probably won't be produced much longer. With the camper van today, we're exploring Windward, Oahu. We love this part of Oahu because it's so green and lush. It is on the Windward side, so you get more rain. That's what it means. The trade winds bring more rain to this side of the islands, but you have the big poly cliffs. You have a lot of really nice beaches, like Lanakai Beach is very famous. I'm at Kualoa Regional Park right now with Mokuli'i Island behind me. Yeah, the famous island. I love this park. It's a big white sand beach. It's a big beach, and it's good for kids because there's a little bit of a break wall out there to stop the big waves. All right, camper van lifestyle, on vacation, who is this right for? Well, you probably know if it's right for you, right? Like if you like camping, camping out here is going to be really fun. So you can see other places like we are on Windward, Oahu. You can also go up to the North Shore. If you are looking for a downtown Honolulu slash Waikiki experience, this is not the setup for you. But there are some legal places to stay, and that's the key. Make sure you are camping legally. So there are two places on the North Shore to camp legally, which we will put up a map to. And it's just nice to explore and roam the island and kind of get to stay multiple places around the island and get get a sense of everything that's out here. All right, on to the next adventure. So we are camping in Kane Ohe on Windward Oahu at a botanical garden. And this place is absolutely beautiful. You're right underneath the poly or the cliffs. And it's, I mean, you're a botanical garden. You can't go wrong. There's a lake here. There's a lot of city campgrounds, but it's really hard to get the city campgrounds. Local residents fill these up fast. You got to book it early. I recommend if you got a camper van is head up to the North Shore at these two sites I'm putting up on the screen right now. These are on the beach. You have, they're made for camper vans with really good rain and you just, same thing though, just call early to make sure you can get a spot and you're all set, it's legal camping, it's a way to do it. Good morning. Baby Edie and I are up. It's a good temperature, and that's what's nice about camping in Hawaii. You know, it's not gonna be cold on you. If anything, it starts off hot and then cools off as the night goes on. And we got a little rain last night because we are on the windward side of the island. And that's what we're gonna do today is we are exploring windward Oahu. We're gonna show you some cool things to go check out, some nice beaches, and a really cool coffee farm tour. Come along. Welcome to a cacao farm. We are in Kahalu right now. 
at 21 Degrees Estate. This is a cacao and chocolate farm tour. It's called 21 Degrees Estate because cacao is grown only in that tropical region. That is why Hawaii is the only US state that can grow cacao and they make some of the best cacao in the world. They keep winning all these international competitions. This is a two hour farm tour, one of the best ones on Oahu. To be honest, Oahu doesn't have a lot of farm tours. We love farm tours. We go do tons of them on Maui in the Big Island. And this one is great because they show you the bee farm. They show you all the canoe crops they have growing around this jungle of a farm right here. Here you are. Is this the honey growing here on the farm? Yeah. The honey was very different. It was very flowery. It was actually very good. I feel like I'm becoming a honey connoisseur. So one finger? That's one. it? Oh, it's a five, ten, it's a ten! <laughs> so Michael and Maria have been here for eight years growing cacao. They're up to 700 trees, 12,000 pods in the last harvest. Each pod makes about two ounces or 60 grams of chocolate, like a chocolate bar. And right now we're gonna go and eat some raw cacao and hopefully some finished chocolate. Does that sound good? Finally, finally. Now crack this open and we're gonna see where your chocolate comes from. <laughs> that was nice and sweet. That's really sweet. You got bite in though. I'm trying to get the bitterness. Oh, did you have one over there? Give it a sniff. How's that? Good? At the farm. Yeah, and that's good. The first Nibs, the dead of summer, they suggested the grinding these with your coffee beans to make like a nice mocha. Do you notice the creaminess in mm. it? Kind of like a milk chocolate. All right, so. Nice little sampling of chocolate there. That was lovely. If you're looking for more information and to book this tour at 21 Degrees Estates, click the link in the description below. We have more information on this tour. Same with the Malama Aina tour at Kualoa Ranch. Check out the description below for more information. On to the next adventure. <laughs> See if you can keep up. Oh, anyone. So convenient. convenient. This band's got everything. You've got a baby on board sticker. Where to now? Lunch? Play. <laughs> play, 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 play. Henry got the Kalua pork, and then I got the big Kalua pork in Lao Lao. Oh, classic. These are big servings. In the view, isn't too bad. I recommend stopping at Waia Hole Poi Factory. And, because they got great food, but it is only takeout. Anyways, it's one of the perks of having a van. This makes it really convenient. Air conditioned comfort. All right, so it is a poi factory. Got some hand pounded poi for Edie, because they say this is really nutritious for babies. Looks like good baby food, huh? All that good mud that you, we were walking through, all ends up in here. Gets really good and healthy. Oh yeah, she likes it, nice. <laughs> All right. So they have two types of ice cream here, but it's not actually ice cream. This is made with coconut, the one we're having, and they also have a banana and tapioca one, but it is absolutely delicious. You wouldn't know otherwise. So how do you like this? At the bottom, they got kulolo. This is what we were picking the weeds at. This is made from taro or kalo. It's called kulolo. It's a Hawaiian dessert popular around Christmas time. And they have it at the bottom of the ice cream here. Love it. All right, this is quite a van adventure. If you're looking to book this van specifically from Justin, go to outdoorsy.com. We have the link below so you can find this van and book it right away for your trip here to the Hawaiian Islands. And make sure you pick up our Oahu itinerary for excellent excursion days out and about, great restaurants, everything you need to have a wonderful trip. Thanks for watching. Thank you. End of the trip, Henry's tuckered out. Hard to say goodbye to the van, isn't it, buddy? Super hard. <laughs>